Well, we better get this stuff done today because Ohio is facing 12 to 16 inches of snow, at least where I'm located. Hello everyone and welcome back to St. Andrew TV. My name is Andrew and as you can tell by my getup today, I'm in my Union Blue shirt and I got my Union Kepi on. Try to say the word Kepi, but sound really tough. Today we're gonna have a history lesson. Now what that history lesson is on, is something from the Civil War, obviously, because of all the Union stuff I have presented today. But something I didn't know too much about until I started digging in and looking for more information on the topic. It's this 1861 HP laptop that was government issue for the Union at the start of the Civil War. No, I'm around. What we're actually gonna talk about today is what makes this piece of fabric so special. A handkerchief that's cream in color with some gold and maroon accents. It's really pretty and it adds your Victorian era fashion repertoire. This was a handkerchief that was carried by Israel Taylor McCohen, who was a part of the 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry during the American Civil War. I did not find much about him. I did find that he was born in 1841 but died in 1864. I did find that he held the rank of first sergeant while he was in the 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry, and he died at the Battle of Lynchburg in 1864. So as little as information as I found about McCohen, that's how much more I found about the 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry. Three days after the attacks of Fort Sumner, South Carolina, April 15th, 1861, Abraham Lincoln called for 75,000 soldiers for three months service. So many of the Union states mustered up numerous militias to suppress rebellion from the Southern states. Ohio was one of those Union states. Over the course of the entire Civil War, 300,000 soldiers came from the United States. That's third only behind Pennsylvania and New York. Now, the 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry had two separate regiments, and this was one of 230 regiments total that Ohio had during this time. The 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry was originally designated for three months service. They organized in Fort Jackson, which is near Columbus, Ohio, in April and May of 1861, then relocated to Fort Denison, which is near Cincinnati, on May 6th. The other 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry, while down at Camp Denison, reorganized for three-year service. This happened on June 28th, with the three-month service members being mustered out July 25th, 1861. Now this unit was led by Colonel John W. Lowe, and Colonel Carr B. White, as Lowe was killed very early in the war. This regiment was stationed in Camp Denison until July 6th, where they moved into Western Virginia and served there until 1862. After that, they were transferred to the Army of the Potomac, where they assisted in battles such as the Second Battle of Bull Run, the Battle of South Mountain, and the Battle of Antietam. Now in late 1862, they were transferred back to Western Virginia until spring of 1864, where they joined Hunter's expedition to Lynchburg, led by David Hunter. This is also the battle where Israel Taylor McCohen, the guy we talked about earlier, died. The 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry returned to Columbus and were mustered out July 11th, 1864. The casualties of the 12th were 455. This included killed, missing, or wounded. Now that was a very brief overview of what the 12th Ohio Volunteer Infantry was. But it is amazing that this 19 by 24 inch piece of fabric led us to so much valuable information about our nation's past. When I bought this, I read that this was a replica handkerchief that was carried by McCohen during the Civil War. And I even think the Ohio Historical Society gave them permission to recreate this and I can link you where I bought this. Nonetheless, I think it's very interesting. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I learned so much just by purchasing a $20 piece of silk. I hope that I taught you something today. Let me know down in the comments if you like these little historical pieces. If you like local or national, let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that little thumbs up at the bottom of the page and that big red button with the white letters that reads subscribe. I appreciate everybody who's done that so far, but if you're new to the channel and you see that button, that big red button with those white letters that say subscribe, think about hitting that thing. You're a daisy if you do.
Away down south in the land of traitors, rattlesnakes and alligators. Right away, right away, come away, come away, right away, right away, come away.